do 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 Oh wait, that's not the right chord. Anyway, I should probably start talking. But da 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 da. Okay, I need to. I'm turning down my volume because this song's just. Uh, it's it's distracting me because it's actually a really good song. I, maybe I'm just in a really good mood for this song, but man, I, I want to stop talking just to hum it. Okay, hey everybody, this is Paladin, and welcome back to another Pal Plays Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we got Skipper C chart from Skipper's Retreat up there, and now let's talk, talk to Skipper again so that we can see where we need to go. Let's talk to him. You got the C chart? Vroom. Now we can finally navigate properly, sir. If we... Let's go look for my ship. Shall we set sail? Vrr. Set sail. Anchors away. Zrrm. Okay, so I just... Finished watching... Thor. I have no idea how that's relevant, and we're just gonna go ahead and open up the sea chart, and he'll mark where we need to go. I just finished watching Thor... The Dark World, or the... Whichever one the second one is, and... Man. That's a good movie. Like, that's that's a really good movie. I was really, really impressed. And... I don't know why I'm saying this. It's just me sharing something, but... I was pretty impressed. Although, one thing I've noticed about the Thor movies... And again, I'm just sharing my thoughts. Is that they kind of start off slow, and they're a little bit confusing at first. I mean, I'm not one who does... I normally pay attention during movies also. I'm going around. If I can. I can't go around. Anyway, I normally pay attention during movies, but it's just sometimes a little bit confusing. Especially with the lighting in the movies. And it's actually... The, the bad lighting is pretty much... Only... Ow. Only near the beginning. And... I don't know. It, that's probably my only complaint. So, going back to what's really important, it's, uh, it, it hit 70 degrees today. And the importance for this is that I live in the Pacific Northwest, so 70 degrees is really, really good. And this is the first time it hit that, so I'm really happy and also really, really hot. It's hot out for, for Northwest standards. So, I have the window open and the garage is open and... It's nice. Once again, me sharing random facts, and I, I, the only time I've talked about the game so far is during the beginning. So, what we were supposed to do is go to the shipyard, which that's what this is, even though it looks more like uh, Disney Disney World with uh, Thunder Mountain, which I've never been on. We've arrived. This is the island where we used to make our ships. Bzz. You'll find the, sh the shipyard here, as well as the town where the workers lived. We... That building is the construction va bay, vroom. But the entrance is closed, vroom. Looks like you can't get in. Each location on the island is linked to the others via a minecart track, vroom. You might be able to get a, get to the back door of the construction bay if you can get around to the other side of it using a minecart. Berserk! There's a minecart station over there. Zerk! You should head to the station first. I'll wait here for we. Okay, so let's follow his instructions. This is a very linear path, so you shouldn't have much trouble there. I mean. Look at that, the door's shut, and the only available path is this way, so you pretty much can't go wrong. And also, one thing that I find really neat, that if this were any other Zelda game, you know, if besides maybe Minish Cap, if this were any other Zelda game, like Toilet Princess, you know, Wind Waker, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, these would be the exact same enemy with the exact same look. But I like the fact that they're, um, they're armor arm armor is different i just like that and ow and that guy would have taken two hits ow come 
come on. And I'm kind of have to concentrate with these guys. Okay, I'm concentrating on your combat here. I used to be able to hit if they blocked. Also, I'm using my old technique. I need to back up against this so I can get their tail. Ow. Okay. For some reason, I cannot fight them today. And cutscene. Pardon me, buddy. I'm just picking up the tail of your, your fallen brother. I don't know. They, they might not be brothers. I mean, isn't, like, left-handedness and right-handedness... I didn't get his tail. Isn't left-handedness and right-handedness kind of a genetic trait? So the fact that they use different hands might mean that they aren't related. And Goron. An awesome-looking Goron, too, because look at those bracers right there. Those are legit. They're chains and stuff. I don't know how he'd get them off besides breaking them, but those are pretty cool. Let's let's see what Fias say about him. His name is Gortram. He's a colorful entre entrepreneur of the Goron race, beings made out of living stone. He has started various ventures and currently owns and operates the rickety coaster. Okay, let's talk to him. This, this station here was used by folks heading into the old mines. People uh, people still ride the mine carts all over the place, though. I'm probably supposed to tell you that there is some sort of safety information about using the carts posted on the wall over there. Cart riding can be uh, dangerous at times, so I would suggest that you give that stuff a quick read. Okay. Approach the cart with A to get and press A to get on. Lean your body with the Wii remote to balance the weight of the cart as you approach a curve. If you're moving too fast, press B to slow down. Shake the Wii remote upwards to jump over obstacles. Okay, so that's pretty much it, so we can just go ahead and hop on in. I love this mechanic, especially because you can get Link to dance. Whoa. Uh, yeah, we should stop dancing, because that's dangerous. You have to lean into these curves. And then you get these, uh, wind streaks around you. And I don't even think wind streaks are possible in real life, but they're here. And again, this isn't real life, so it I shouldn't even say that. But, if you lean into the curves, you'll go faster. And that's definitely what you want to do. Now, on this part of the minecart track... You shouldn't have to worry about slowing down because it's over and you really don't need to worry about that. Now the next section, spoilers, there's there is another section. You will need to worry about slowing down. Just at one part though. Also, there are only two here, which I've seen four in the past, if not more. So I, I guess the bugs are randomly generated too? I mean, they appear at the same locations, but the numbers differ. Come on. Come to Papa. Come on. Good boy. Okay, um... Let's see, story I should tell. Um... Oh, and I, I've gotten startled by this in the past, so... I'm really glad that I triggered it accidentally. But what I was going to say is that... In the past... I have... Gotten on top of these buildings before. I don't know how... But I think somehow I got up here. And I think there was a secret up there. I know I've gotten on top of the buildings. I just have no clue how I did it. I kind of tricked it out by using jump attacks. I think I might have also used the bomb jump as well. Actually, I should show off the bomb jump real quick. Okay, if you have an item. And you set it down, then backflip as fast as you can. Apparently... You'll do a backflip that's higher than normal. So I might have used that somehow to get up there. Doesn't really matter though. To the construction bay. That's just where we need to go. So let's jump in here. This is where you're going to need to slow down. Okay. 
So this goes around in circles, so they kind of introduced the new mechanic of turning different directions. So if you just keep leaning into this, you'll just keep going around it forever. So what you need to do is right here, you need to turn right, and then you can continue. And also there are dead ends where you will die. So you don't want that to happen. Now you're probably only going to want to slow down once here, and it's not yet. We have a lot further to go, so don't worry about slowing down yet. Okay, it's right near here. Let's turn right. I believe this this is a more fun path. Okay. Okay, you're going to want to slow down up ahead. Just for the maximum time possible. Right there. That's where you want to slow down. That's pretty much the only place you need to slow down, and it will help you. Whoa! Okay, uh, we need to remember that trick for when we do this, because this will be a mini-game later on, and we need to remember that trick, where I kind of skipped a part, and that, that gave me a, a really good time. If you guys want to go back in the video and time it... Actually, you know what? I'll post the time of that run right on screen in three, two, one, blink, there it is. And if you wanna if you wanna make a video and uh, put it put a link to it in the in the comments so I can see it, you can try to beat my record, because I think I did really well there. Okay. Master, we have arrived at the shipyard construction bay. Okay. sand and uh whatever those are called with the passing of many years this structure is filled with sand i recommend looking in the sand for a clue that may direct you to the location of the ship thank you fee okay so there are some notes here which i want to take note of get it take note of at the end of this month rail cars will be out of operation for a full day while the track is inspected from okay what else only you can warn your co-workers early enough to avoid pirate attacks. The Zerg. I'm the chosen one. Also, they were... Man. I have a question. How did these guys die? I mean, I know they, they eventually went out of service. But here, it looks like they... Actually, this is a big question. Okay. When we went to um, the Laneru mining facility, not the um, not the actual facility, but the mines, and we, we uh, resurrected those those robots that were digging, they had died while they were digging. You'd think that they'd slowly run out of energy and they'd find some place to huddle while they while they succumb to their fate, but no, they were working. So. Does that mean that maybe they died suddenly? Because if you look at these guys, they are looking at this. They're looking at the pirate attack uh, posting thing. And they died while looking at this. Now, if it were me, and I was starving to death, because it's sort of comparable. If I was starving to death, the last thing I would do is go up and look at this sign to see that I could avoid pirate attacks so it kind of leads me to believe that these guys died in like one quick event like w in one sn let me snap in the mic hopefully you heard that um, in one instance they all died it's interesting and this one says I hope the plans for my ship are completed soon I wonder what that says if I can find a translation of that, I will translate it and put it on screen in three, two, one, now. So just so you know. Oh, and there's a robot over there with some boxes, but there's literally nothing in those boxes. So you just, every, all that's here is down here. So I think Fee said that like some secret was in the sand below, so we'll go ahead and uh, 
check that out. Not with bombs. Uh, with our leaf blower. And right here, in the center, is target lock, Moldorak. An Araka that has survived its very length. Okay, this is the same thing that they said last time. But what I wanted to see is, does she say the thing where you, it, she says, you've defeated so-and-so type of this creature? She doesn't, which is interesting. Ooh. Oh, that was cool. I avoided it by backflipping at the right moment. Oh, and also, I have my D-pad thing. No, I don't want the harp. There we go. I really like this arrow. Boom! Ah. Oh. I need to stop using the my old trick. But using the D-pad really, really works. Of course, I can't use it now. Okay. We're taking this guy down. We've gotten hurt once, and man, that was cool. We can shield bash that, but I don't really care to. Mostly because I don't want to take the time to uh, bring my shield out. Okay, let's go ahead and take him out take him out of this sand as fast as we can. We're gonna want our shield. Where's our shield? Okay, back him into corner. Okay, we did that. Let's go ahead and unearth him. I think he's actually stronger than he was last time. Ow, HP wise. Okay, this one's gonna do him in. Boom. And that was, that was actually really impressive. We didn't take much damage. Also, that last hit where I said we're gonna take him out, that was strictly by me kind of feeling it out. I did not even know for a fact that was going to be the last hit. That was pretty cool. I've played this game multiple times, so I kind of have a knowledge of such things. Master, it would appear that in the many years this factory went unused, monsters have moved in and built a nest. I now estimate the chance of finding a clue in the sand here as to the ship's location is extremely low. Thank you, Fee. I like Fee. She's, she's straight and to the point. I really like that in a, a Link comrade. And in case you're wondering, oh, there's a secret in here. There's a couple gold rupees. There is literally nothing here at all. The only purpose this has now is for you to play in the sand and maybe, like, make a mountain range or something. You know, sort of like that. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to leave because I'm just playing. Also, my shield is really bad off. I really wish that there was some sort of a... There's a re regeneration potion, is it called? A regeneration potion somewhere here. Let's go ahead and uh, send these guys a parting gift. Bye, bros. Okay, that was lame. Okay, let's curve that one. Boom. Okay. Oh, they're coming. They're coming for us. Okay, you, you come on. Come on, come at me. Come at me. Boom! Actually, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna bother myself because we have time left in this episode to go wherever we want to go. So let's go ahead and use that time to go wherever we want to go. Let's talk to the skipper. So my ship wasn't theirs, there. There's, then there's all, only one place left for us to look for clues. Vroom. Berserk. This could be scary, but we have to head to the stronghold of the pirates who stole our ship. We so let's not waste any time. Okay, let's go. Anchors away. You like what I did there? That's kind of how he's excited. This is pretty scary. We the pirate captain is a mechanical maniac. He's got no shortage of evil underlings too. Get it? Shortage because he's a robot. Short. Like he shorted out. I never wanted to say, lay eyes on him again. Berserk. But if we want to take the ship back, then we have no choice. Full weep. There we go. Volume's back to normal. The pirate stronghold is here at this X marks. Okay. 
Oh, in case you're wondering what that is, we will visit that later. Boom. Bang. Okay. Tighten up whatever you humans have instead of bolts, and let's get going, fool. Yeep. Okay, so let's head off. This is really a straight shot, and this ocean isn't nearly as big as you might think. Also, I just have I have a question. We can avoid that guy. He's really bearing down on us. If you drink a stamina potion, will that affect your boat stamina meter? I'm not sure. You guys can post that in the comments too. Alongside your um your actually include it in the video where you do the the roller cart uh the the minecart thing. Include it. So here it is. The pirate stronghold. This is easily as scary as I thought it would be. But if you think but if you think about it, they should all be dead, brrrr. The only reason I'm about like this is because of that time shift stone on the boat. Weep. So I have nothing to worry about. I feel better now, Link. And and so it's time for you to go look for my ship. I'll wait here, of course. So you see that? He do he does acknowledge that he's actually dead. But I like his spirit. He's he's fighting on, even though he knows what happens to him, and that's that's very admirable. Okay, we have these uh, thunder keys right here. We want to take out uh, the whip. Die. There we go. There are two more, at least. There they are. Come on. Come on, bros. Come on. There's one. Where's the? You know what? I'll kill the other one. I'll kill the other one with the item that we never use anymore. There we go. And you see those nostrils up there of this big shark thing? You... There's another one? Oh. Well, you want to go in here because there are three silver rupees in here. I don't know why they couldn't have just put a gold rupee in here, but I don't know. It, it's here. Also, there are randomly placed stamina, stamina fruits around, which I don't get either. And let's go ahead and go on in. This is Saturday, so this will be a long episode just for you guys. Because I'm trying to... Oh, my word. Wow. Get off me. Get off me. Man. Jerks. Okay, come here. Okay, we killed a couple of them. Okay. Boom, bang. Okay, th this one... Oh, I saw him too. There we go. We got one out of that. So let's go ahead and I keep saying let's head let's go ahead and head on in. I guess that's my catchphrase. Which actually, I'm kind of proud of myself. I have a catchphrase. Okay, let me teach new LPers because I'm not one cuz I have a catchphrase. Let me teach you something. And let me point the sword. Uh, if you're an LPer, you must have a signature catchphrase. You. You must have a signature catchphrase. Okay, I'm done. And mine, I guess, is let's go ahead and head on in. Master, please take a look. This device looks like it was meant to hold a time shift stone, but there is not one currently installed. There's a 95% chance it is the same type of device as the ones we have encountered in Laneru Mine. Signs indicate that time shift stones were used in this facility as a, t as a kind of power source. Thank you, Fee. So, you can see in there, not much. So, the only available route for us to go is this door. So, if we, if we go through here, we will see that we have two Lizalfos to deal with. So let's go ahead and bypass them, and then turn around and get hit. No, let's turn around and be good. I don't know how he dodged us. Die! Two for the price of one. Grandma. <laughs> and also, rule number two of LPing. If you are an LPer, you must steal people's catchphrases. 
and use them as your own. Okay, are you... You're not stunned. Snap. Jump up here. Jump up here. And run up the wall for whatever reason. And let's go ahead and leave him alone, because he's not hurting us. He wasn't really that much of a threat. We can leave him alone. And scaries? No scaries? Okay, there we're good. We have a lack of scaries. Oh, and wow. Already? Here's our time shift stone, I guess. Master, please take a look. This object is called a time shift orb. It's not really an org, but rather a... Actually, I'm not sure what that would be called, because it's... It's not a cube. Oh, I know exactly what we can call it, because I just watched Thor. We're calling that the Tesseract. Done. Okay. I conjecture that, unlike the time shift stones we've seen, this device was designed to be carried around and installed in different locations. Okay. So, this is the mechanic of this dungeon. We are carrying around this time shift stone, and as you can see, while we're walking, we are restoring old areas. So it, you can normally see those barbs, you walk through it, and you're there. But, also, while you're walking, you could reanimate some enemies. Or, if there are some new enemies there, you could kill them. So that's the mechanic of this. Jerk. Jerk. Block me. You know what, I'm just gonna kill you. Actually, come on over here. Come here. There we go. I guess that's a good strategy. Just lure him out and then hit him while you're safe. Oh, you... This, this is why I hate these guys. Because it, when there are a lot of them, you swing at one and the other one accidentally blocks them. And then you see that... You, you got just got hit and you swing again for the other one and then the other one blocks him again it's just annoying pick the thing link thank you so what we will awaken here maybe is this no okay I've actually had it where I was holding up my shield and I blocked it and it was really cool because I blocked it, but then I looked up at the upper left and saw my shield being drained, and my shield literally exploded. It was so cool. Like, it, I don't want to replicate it because I have a good shield, but it was really cool also. Here's another mechanic. Those lasers are going in the past, so let's go to the present to get the chest. But in the, the past, we can't get the chest. And it has a silver rupee, which is pretty cool. It's like a free silver rupee. So we walk through here, and let's see what things we awaken. Oh, here's another thing. Now we don't have to deal with the sand, but somehow there are these spires that have sunken th the sand in the present, so we go to the past to raise them up also. Ta taking these, because we haven't seen these in a long o time. That was... Yeah, we had one. So, we haven't seen these in, I don't know, 10 episodes? 12? 20? We haven't seen them in a long time. I'm not sure if we can make that. Yeah, we can. I think we need to go over here. And this is, I think this is really genius. It's a fantastic mechanic. I mean, it's, it's easy, it's not that hard, but it's just fun. It's really, really fun. And what we want to do is set this here. Go through this in the present. And take that down in the past. And take the Tesseract through here. And go through here. This is just so cool. I love this. Also, watch. It'll try to eat it. Which you know why? Because... I'm pretty sure it's... It may be an accident, it may not be, but because they're coded to eat round things. And they're also coded to die when they eat round things. And we actually don't want to do that. What you want to do is just lay that down over there so the spires don't come up. And get this chest 
in the past, uh, present, sorry, I'm getting my, uh, I'm getting my times mixed up. I mean, really, it, you'd kind of think that things were down in the dumps in the, in the, uh, past, but it's reversed, so it kind of confuses me. Let's go around this. I'm kind of looking for secrets right now. We can leave him alone. Whoa. Um, yep, okay. Oh, stinks to be you. Goodbye. Oh, that felt good. You, how can they move that fast? Uh, okay. Come on. There we go. Sheesh. I hate those tech new blends. Can I kill you? No, I can't. Okay, so let's move on to Tesseract, and I'm getting frustrated here, and I shouldn't be. Okay, let's activate him. Hit me. Boom! I'm gonna have to deal with you in a second. Okay, come here. Hit me. I backflipped. Hit me again. Hit me. No. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. There we go. Sheesh. Are, are you serious? I have to move again. Oh, you're not dead yet. Oh, you. Okay, you guys. Get. Ah. Oh. Get down. Die. Thank you. Dying. Sheesh. You think I was trying to ask a big favor of them? All I want them to do is die. And what are we trying to do? Trying to move this here? Oh, I think we need to do this. Pretty sure we need to do this. We need to do that. And we need to do this. Pretty sure we need to pull this onto the switch. And as soon as we hit the switch, those bars will go up and we have to, um, we have to run to the, we have to run to the past. That's, I think, what we need to do. Yeah, see, yeah, okay, that's what we need to do. So we can just jump over here. Also, that's cool. I'm walking to the past. We have to go back. <laughs> okay. Leaving you alone, Quadro. And what do we need to do here? Okay, we can go through here. But we should probably grab this chest first. Whoa. Oh. I thought it was like a, a battle, but we're fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this chest. I have no idea what it would be, what it's going to be. It is a thing, evil crystal. So we can get another one of them, even though we don't need the cutscene. I mean, it's better than Toilet Princess, but it's still pretty bad. Okay, we can head through here. Okay, die. Also, that's not fair that you can shoot into the future. Let me kill your cheating ways. Okay, what we need to do is put this right here. Ow. Sorry, what you want to do... Actually, I, I lied. You need to put it right here. Go around here. Run through that door. And activate this. And I told, I said that we'd never activate one of these switches by jumping on them. Again. So I'm keeping my word. I'm not doing that. And now that we have lowered those bars, now we can bring the Tesseract through here. Activate. Whoa. One of these at a time. Can we kill these? No, we can't. We have to use the thing. Um, there. You. No. Link. Thank you. Now dot. Are you serious? Okay. You. Come on, come on. There we go. No, I hit it! Armos <sighs> have been annoying in ev every single game they've ever appeared in. And I don't 
like it. Okay, come on. Okay. Dead. Dead. There we go. Thank you for dying, my friend. And now, we can head through here and put the Tesseract in the thing. And that is it. I don't know what that does. Oh, it opens the jaw. Okay. So we, we just completed what we need to do. I think. I could be wrong. Also, that looks pretty cool. And it's amazing that it works thousands of years after. So now that that is activated... Ching! A report master, the power of the time shift orb, the Tesseract, uh, appears to have call caused a change in the structure. I recommend going outside to further assess this situation. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go outside. And does this lead outside? Assumedly so. Assumedly. Yeah, it brings us outside. Okay. Okay. There's a ship right there. We can see if that's his ship. Uh, but first, we want to get a secret there with the claw shots. Aim up, and you'll see a claw shot target up there. But actually... You need to get that one. And grab this one. And climb up. Are there any others? No, there are not. Okay, so then you can access this goddess cube. And now we can go talk to Skipper or see if that's... To see if maybe that's truly his ship. I have information to report, Master. Please take a look. The ground. There's a 60% probability that these masts and these sails are from the ship that protects Nairu's flame. You can now uh, set your dousing ability to search for the ship that holds Nairu's flame. Okay. So let's look for it. We're getting a little bit of a reading, but... Wait, it's not really giving us a reading, so let's... It was pointing us over there. It's pointing us over there. Interesting. Let's go talk to Skipper. Yo, Skipper! Skipper! We have, we have a tracking signal on it. I don't know why we couldn't have done that first. So my ship wasn't there, wasn't here either. From Zer... Weed, you found a clue? You know the place? Some kind of thing called dousing, vroom? That's amazing, foo weep! This time we'll definitely find my ship, voo woo Ready to set sail? Actually, no, because we got this out of the way. We actually got two sections out of the way. And next episode, we will set to the seas and douse for Skipper's ship. Monday. We will do this, and I'm trying to keep more to the schedule, because usually I just record like 10 episodes. I, I can't say a day, but I record 10 episodes in a couple days, and then I'm done. I don't really keep track of the days, but now I do. So, I'll see you Monday for another Pal Plays Skyward Sword, where I, Captain Paladin, will meet you over there to the other captain's vessel. I, I don't know, I'm sorry. See you then!